I would like to introduce everyone with our speaker, Mr. K. C. Ghosh, sir. Sir has done his honors and master's degree in English and has also done MA in public administration. He has taught English at higher secondary level for three years since 1966. Uh, he has served in six uh, ministries, Government of India, as SO, US, GS, till 2006. He has trained thousand, thousands at the Institute of Sec uh, Secretariat Training and Management, ISTM, and all over India since 1980. Sir has also trained hundreds in direct trainer skills and design of training courses. The last one being at ATI, Nanital, on design of training. He has translated the Gita into exact words from uh, 118 Shakespeare's sonnets and 500 poems into Bengali poems. Sir, thank you so much for accepting the invitation and being the speaker for the workshop on importance of effective communication. Now the session is all yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you kindly let me know till what time should I go on? Uh, sir, we can. Uh, I think we can take the one hour complete session of yours. One hour. Thank you very much. In fact, I am uh, privileged to be with this uh, uh, group from all over the world. It has become a world, global village now. And uh, thanks to this uh, uh, online <coughs> digital uh, internet uh, courses, uh, we are in a new world. Uh, the younger generation, we have to lear learn from the younger generation as well. In fact, uh, communication is such a thrilling subject that I had given more than a, a dozen more topics, uh, which I didn't, which uh, could not be accommodated within this short schedule. But uh, I have been benef I have benefited from the speakers up till now, uh, because Dr. Mrs. Samuel was my uh, roommate in my institute itself for uh, certain years. Uh, she's a famous uh, film actor's uh, granddaughter, um, Mr. Pahari Samuel's granddaughter. Many of you uh, may not know, but and she has uh, both, both the speakers are eminent. Everyone is a learner. I am perfectly a learner. I start learning. Now the communication styles and media. Communication, the word communication has come from the word common. It is commonness, communion, to make the world a community. And it is this commonness of give and take. The information which we use comes from data. Data comes from the actual real life uh, fields, and we collect the data and put them into the uh, in, into the form, uh, into uh, facts and figures uh, on the basis of which we take decisions. Then this information is communicated through certain forms of communication. There are fixed styles of communication very, very well uh, established styles since the British administration uh, in India. Uh, in, in India, we have uh, the, uh, inst the, the, the forms of communication is there is a chapter on forms of communication in the um, CSMOP, Central Secretariat Manual of Office Procedure, for which it, I was the consultant revising it, 13th edition, the last edition, I myself was the consultant revising it. So I, because it is a workshop mode, so kindly put the questions from the chat box wherever it comes, because the matter is huge. And uh, within this one hour time schedule, I will not, uh, uh, I will try to give very interesting uh, examples and also the, uh, the mm -hmm. get, collect the information from the participants uh, to answer their uh, specific questions according to their requirements. Uh, uh, they, they, there was a very funny incident, very shocking incident. Uh, Alfred Barnard Nobel, who started the Nobel Prize, read one morning that he had died in the newspaper. Media, media is so uh, <clears throat> strong a medium for communication. It shocked him when he was reading that he had died. The caption was that the merchant of death is dead, uh, Alfred Barnard Nobel. In fact, his brother had died, who was not so famous as 
Alfred Barnard Nobel, who had uh, invented the dynamite and <clears throat> established dozens of factories from which he made immense wealth. Ultimately, after reading that, he was so shocked that he donated his whole wealth in charity for establishing the Nobel Prizes. It is a it is such a uh, grave thing. In fact, the newspapers every day, almost every day, it comes out, the news media, the uh, print media. Now the world media, we have seen how the certain uh, women um, of a certain co some um, community were being auctioned uh, and they have been arrested by the police. Some, uh, un, uh, some unscrupulous uh, um, elements in our country, young misguided elements, they had uh, this uh, done this. Uh, it, it came all in the media. One day, it was uh, a very famous uh, um, politician of a uh, old, one of the oldest parties of India are uh, cattle class. They are flying cattle class. So I felt very bad. Uh, only a couple of times I could fly the economic class. Other, uh, I could fly the executive class, but otherwise I was a flyer for the economic class itself, which I had, uh, which was paid for by the, mostly by the government. So this uh, uh, calling, uh, the, the using the wrong words, harsh words, total miscommunication. There are which are, in fact, in the Mahabharata, one elephant named uh, Ashwatthama was killed by Bhim uh, with his club. And uh, so everybody shouted, Ashwatthama is killed. That is Dronacharya's son's name was also Ashwatthama. And Dronacharya left his weapons, uh, he threw his weapons away and uh, <clears throat> sat down without fighting. So Ashwatthama was killed, but it was not his son, but an elephant. So the words which are used, when the Japanese asked the, when the uh, Americans asked the Japanese people in 1945, whether they should drop the baby or not, baby by baby, they meant the two atomic bombs, nuclear bombs. The uh, Japanese people answered Mokosatu, uh, M-O-K-O-S-A-T-U. We, we are still taking time to uh, think about it. We are not yet decided. And the another meaning of this was we, uh, we, we are ready. You do anything you want. So uh, the result we know how two atom bombs were exploded in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So the use of words. Words have to be used with very great care. 2,000 years ago, Thiruvalluvar, uh, uh, the great writer of Thirukkural, great uh, say, saintly book, which was called the uh, greatest book on wisdom by Albert Schwitz. Uh, he had written, Keep a control on your tongue. Because a great saying from the Tirukkural. Uh, there are 3,300 Kurals, such beautiful sayings in that. So uh, I have translated uh, many of them and published them also in uh, Bengali poems from uh, uh, Tamil, original Tamil. Uh, anyway, I will not give the examples. We shall come straight to this. Uh, there are 130, 163 uh, media. Uh, the media starts from oldest chalkboard to the latest fiber this I mean, via this pen drive microchip microfiche there this all the super sophisticated media uh, they they have come into electronic media digital media they are short lived the mic uh, the microfilms the films uh, 
film right etc they are now they are getting uh, uh, media through the gadgets at and there is a problem of network also from time to time and it makes us uh, gives us second hand taste not direct face to face communication in am i audible to everyone please yes so you are audible uh, but i think uh, there is some issue with the network connection your voice is breaking in between for some time right uh, if the questions are there i will first give the first preference to the questions if any question yes, has come to the chat box yes sir we will give the preference to the questions uh, you can now carry on we are, i will uh, interrupt in between right. if the questions are there right i i will just give two or three examples there are two very basic styles of uh, uh, speaking or writing one is a periodic style which is logical and very uh, structured pre structured well digested style uh, one sentence from the nobel prize winning book man and superman by george barnard shaw i'm quoting very beautiful sentence it says when i was a child and bruised my head against a stone i ran to the nearest woman and cried away my pain against her apron when i grew up and bruised my soul against the brute had to strive i did the same thing that i had done as a child this is a periodic sentence this is not a loose sentence it, it when i was a child then what did i do when i was a child and bruised my head against a stone i ran to the nearest woman and cried away my pain against her apron when i grew up and bruised my soul against the brutalities and st stupidities of the world with which i had to strive i did the same thing that i had done as a child this is another this is one sentence with a periodic style and compare with this another loose style the one of the founders of the congress party in india sir surendra banerji whose name was given by the britishers as a surrender not he was uh, dismissed from ics job uh, on flimsy grounds of uh, uh, misappropriation of uh, 58 rupees <laughs> which was a very paltry sum and as a result of that he turned into a very big uh, leader uh, to the uh, to, to the uh, consternation of this british empire and they gave him the knighthood sir surendranath banerji to please him but nothing doing he became the father of the indian national congress uh, this indian national congress his sentence which i has read which in 1957 when i was in class 7 i memorized this big sentence which was in loose which was in loose style not periodic style when i <clears throat> our young men and women trained in schools and colleges should come forward in thousands to start their night schools and adult education centers where these unfortunate fellow men of ours should get their first training in reading and writing that was sir sudanath banerjee's speech quoted in that book our great indians that was a rapid reader for us in 1957 I was in class seven. I memorized this beautiful sentence, and I myself started such a night school in my village, own village, and close to Calcutta Airport. There's a long story, but then this is a loose sentence. Again, another loose sentence. Loose sentence. Um, Prozer, he was a very great scientist. Um, wrote in his autobiography, playing on the seashore and picking up here and there a curious shell or a pretty pebble, while the boundless ocean of truth lies undiscovered before me. There is no structuring, pre-structuring. So these are loose sentences. Loose sentences are written. Loose styles are written for giving it to. parliament so 
that they will not take much interest in reading that and not put many questions, difficult questions to answer uh, this uh, audit objections, etc. in very difficult parliamentary matters, but which will not go to the parliamentary committee on audit objections if not answered within three years, they will go to the, go to the public accounts committee and committee on public undertaking, etc. to form a part uh, of the debate and in the committee before the committee, the senior most officers will be hauled up to answer the questions. So such a loose style is written in the whole constitution of India, the loosely structured beautiful sentences, the entire constitution, article 351, it shall be the duty of the union to promote the spread of the Hindi language and to develop it so that it may become an effective medium of expression for all the elements of the composite culture of India and to develop it wherever necessary or desirable by drawing for its phraseology words, expressions, etc., primarily from Sanskrit and secondarily from the 18 other major Indian languages listed in the eighth schedule of the constitution without interfering with it with the genius forms and style obtaining in hindustani etc it goes on and on it is about 90 words in the single sentence so it is all loose sentence people will not take much interest in reading it except very big lawyers etc and professionals who are in need of such things there is a meaning there's a purpose also for this the writing such sentences so the loose sentence, I will give one more um, example of a, a periodic sentence, very beautiful, written by Confucius, Conf Kung Fu Tse, Kung Fu Tse, the British uh, people could not pronounce Kung Fu Tse, so they named him Con Confucius. So Confucius a sentence, very important sentence in classical Chinese. If our language is not correct, then what is said? is not what is meant. If what is said is not what is meant, then what ought to be done remains undone. If that remains undone, then morals and arts will deteriorate. If morals and arts deteriorate, then justice will go astray. And if justice goes astray, people will stand about in helpless confusion. This is in fully structured uh, style, uh, it is called periodic style. Writing periodic style as uh, written by uh, another example I've given from George Bernard Shaw's Man and Superman, the uh, drama which got him Nobel Prize, his whole writings, he was a great writer. So his style, these two sentences I've given, two different styles of writing. So the styles of expression also, the uh, in, in, in communication, the styles, there are four basic styles which anybody can see from the Google. They are, they there is a passive style, there is a passive aggressive style, there is a, an aggressive style, and a, an assertive style. These four styles in the uh, grammar, in uh, high school uh, grammar, etc. We have read, read the different modes of sentences, indicative mode, imperative mode, optative mode, subjunctive mode, etc. This in Ren and Martin's grammar and other grammars, F.T. Wood's uh, grammar, Jesse Nesfield's grammar. Uh, we have read many uh, such uh, examples. Then there is one book which I recommend to everyone who wants to study communication to read. That is The Essentials of English Grammar by Otto Jesperson. O-T-T -T, Otto, J-E-S-P-E-R-S-E-N, Jesperson. Any book by Otto Jesperson is very, very important. He is a great uh, epoch-making um, philologist Linguist, linguist, great uh, scholar. So his book, Essentials of English Grammar. My uh, point here is when we communicate anything, the suppression part is very important. The 
expression part we if we are careless about expression part we shall be totally wrong in this oppression part and if we are we if we are not careful about this oppression part we shall be careless about the expression part and the impression part will be just nowhere when titanic when the titanic ship was uh, sinking it was uh, sinking one pip, one person who did not know good english he said i will die i will die so the britishers did not save him because he did not say i shall die uh, that is ordinary thing i will die means i am determined to die in the constitution of india anybody who sees this constitution of india he will see uh, that he instead of uh, shall will is used and instead of will shall is used for emphasis there shall be a cons there shall be a president of india that means there shall definitely be a uh, president of india this just grammar is being ignored by by and large everywhere and that's a uh, that is detrimental to communication but here we are talking about the different styles uh, this uh, communicating anything before the parliamentary committee uh, the secretary level of the highest officers the director general level officers they go they go there and even if they have the answer to uh, the questions put by the committees uh, committees on uh, this uh, uh, government assurances on any committee before any committee public accounts committee or uh, committee on public undertaking or estimates committee any committee they will buy time they will not immediately give the answer they will say sir i may kindly be given time to get clearance from my bosses my ministers senior ministers and after getting that the clearance they will come back and they, they are given the time to the, that is to buy time it is well laid in the manual for handling parliamentary matters in the ministries and departments published by the ministry of parliament parliamentary affairs so in a parliament question the the misprint was plutonium instead of plutonium so the minister the senior officers of the ministry of science and technology they had drafted the answer saying that in the world of physics there is nothing called plutonium however about the plutonium the production consumption etc this is the position then the top level officer was summoned plutonium we wanted our honorable members wanted to know about plutonium so we have to go answer no sir the answer is no sir without going further deep so in the matters of handling parliamentary matters everywhere the the communication has to be extremely careful in before before the judiciary before the legislature uh, before the executive also it has to be very careful the communication in our most ancient times there were three types of communication basically the three types of advice counsel given one type is a boss giving to the subordinate that is order there is hardly any chance of uh, uh, if the, most of the bosses do not want to hear any arguments and then the second is the opposite the subordinate making submissions to the bosses the secretary the joint secretary secretary level officers submitting to the minister on file that it is uh, humbly submitted that this uh, uh, action suggested uh, may not be acted upon without attracting such and such problems that argument now submitted for orders further orders so that sort of humble submission and the 
next is uh, the colleague to colleague or a uh, peer to peer equal level uh, prabhu sammit das sammit and kanta sammit wife to husband husband to wife master to subordinate and subordinate to master uh, superior and equal the, the peer uh, colleagues to colleagues or bosses to bosses like that any questions please uh any questions please am i audible please uh, yes yes sir you are audible if any question has come please give your question so that i can answer according to your requirement uh so there is still i think there is no questions still now hello uh yes sir yes please uh sir there are no should i go on yes sir yes sir can i go on uh ah. yes sir so yes, what i was we were saying that we have to be very very careful about the selection of media and also the selection of styles too too many contradictory styles riot of styles riot of media should not should not uh, take happen at all i remained a trainer throughout the chalk and talk method and the subsequent developments from overhead projector to up to up till date now and i am learning even now somebody was helping me we are becoming dependent on dependents everybody knows something about most of the things the generalist knows um less and less about more and more things ias officer knows everything about the world but he does not know how to open a dictionary uh, uh, that i had the uh, my <laughs> direct experience he does not know how to open a dictionary because he was very selective in his studies and a very if they, there was a news reader who said 11 jinping instead of xi jinping and lost her job unfortunate lady young lady she did not cross check whether it was eleven or uh, it was a she what was the pronunciation when that chinese uh, uh, our prime minister was giving him uh, company at that time and uh, at that time some unfortunate uh, uh, incident happened the young lady who, who assumed please be careful every uh, student of uh, every researcher of uh, uh, communication please be careful 10 times more careful about assumptions never 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 assume anything if we assume anything we make an ass of you and me put that you between two between a, 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 a between two brackets and then see as on one side and me on the other side we must verify on facts cross check and that is why take a, even at the end the feedback i am taking the feedback in between also the questions questions which will help me to go according to your requirements my shop may have many many things but you are not in need of all these things if they there is no need there is no need for communication at all no style no media nothing do whatever i am telling you do and die do and die what tragedy happened with the 14 most valuable lives of india in the helicopter crash which was the most costly helicopter we know the chief of defense staff along with the 13 other most valuable lives our own saviors they lost their lives it is miscommunication or what nobody still knows and we have to draw the we have to draw our conclusion and improve our performance from mistakes from from past mistakes there was mr sl shakdar shamlal shakdar who was the secretary general of lok sabha for the 25 years and then more than 25 years he was is the author of the uh, book 
on parliamentary practices and procedures in parliament very uh, voluminous book and he used to tell his subordinates commit as many mistakes as possible daily uh, commit as many mistakes as possible uh, without committing mistakes nobody can learn so the question is whether we should learn from our mistakes or learn from others mistakes learning from our mistakes will be very costly and learning from other others mistakes will be easier others commit the mistake most of the speakers they do not care to see where THD is pronounced as the and where it is pronounced as the and where it is pronounced as the in emphasis. THD is pronounced as the before a consonant and as the in uh, before a vowel and as the in emphasis, double the time. So it is an established thing. So a, a, there are many such basic things which people are carelessly going ahead thinking that everybody knows everything. No, everybody knows something, but most, most of the people do not know that they do not know. Most of the people in Delhi do not know that Delhi 4 is only one building. And which building is that? If we give four options, Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament, uh, North Block and South Block, they will be clueless. It is actually Rashtrapati Bhavan. Why? Then going further. Who, which, why, when, how, uh, what? These five W's, as Dr. Mr. Sanel, the great researcher, and uh, the uh, great coordinator of this course, she was uh, saying uh, most wonderful things that we about the Joe Harry window, also the closed window about which I don't know anything, you don't know anything, the totally closed window. And we do go on communicating about the open window, what we know, and you know that we have uh, just uh, 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 I think uh, half an hour's time, right? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Half an hour time more? Yes, sir. We can continue for uh, 15, uh, 20 minutes more. 20 minutes. Please, questions, questions. Yes, sir. Any questions? Sir, there are no questions till now at the chat box. If uh, participants okay. are okay. should be last week. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, like, right. Uh, let, let me. Let me let me help you with the questions. You see, 400 years ago, more than 400 years ago, Shakespeare wrote in his dramas such wonderful things that they have become proverbial. Now, for thousands of years, our Vedas, voluminous Vedas, they were kept in the memory. How could it be kept in the memory? Because there was structuring, there was rhythm, there was a discipline, it was pre-structured. And with that discipline, everybody knows this. There are four words in, in the world, world of communication. We say that there are four golden words. It is, it is, they are, they're called gold, silver, diamond, and platinum. These four words, hearts like doors will open with ease to very, very small keys. Please remember four of these. Thank you. Sorry, pardon. And please, while communicating, we say many things, uh, many do's and don'ts. But while actually applying that, our ego takes over and we commit the mistake which we did not want to commit. There was a very, very senior foreign secretary. I should not give his name because he was very elderly at that time when uh, our prime minister was the uh, late uh, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. He was our prime minister at the time, very young prime minister and very old foreign secretary. So the this, uh, Pakistani news media people asked uh, the foreign secretary, when will your prime minister come to Pakistan, come to our country? He said, this month he will come. Uh, then uh, they came to the prime minister, Mr. Uh, Rajiv Gandhi, and asked him, sir, are you coming to Pakistan next month? He asked, who has said this? Who has told you? He said, your foreign secretary. Well, we will see a new foreign secretary just now. He called the foreign secretary and took his resignation letter 
and that was the end of the foreign secretary. So see how a small communication can cost a job. Uh, there are many such examples, but here the style, buying time, take the permission. It happened in my 37 years uh, uh, long central government ministries, working in the ministries, I never gave the uh, information to the media or anybody without taking the, my seniors' permission, the joint secretary, additional secretary, special secretary, secretary's permission at that time, or minister's permission at that time, at the appropriate time. So the uh, communication in the style, what is the style humility is the most disarming thing when only yesterday what happened our prime minister the most most incomparable prime minister of the world the most incomparable leader of the world he said thank your chief minister that i have come alive to the airport, what was a sad thing to hear for any self-respecting Indian citizen. So communication in the style, in what style he wonderful things we have to we 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 follow the good examples whatever the exceptional people in the celestial book over the world in saudi arabia on in google i saw the so the, the it has said whatever the exception are behaving what what is the example whatever the exceptional people are behaving in that way every every exceptional person is not behaving like that in what what way the uh, a leader of a, a young leader of a uh, of the oldest party of india went to the uh, lok sabha seat of the prime minister sitting there and hugged him there uh, saying certain things which could not have been said in public uh, because i used to see it every day for more than two years on that uh, official gallery just uh, across this uh, prime minister served them for two years as home and two years. so i saw how to buy time with uh, humility humility is to be given always because it is on discipline and humility it is the person's ego the ego state which uh, works to uh, distort the uh, styles styles of communication the parent ego state, it goes on giving command, and the adult ego state, it goes on making compromises, and the child ego state, just curiously experimenting with what happens, just out of curiosity. So, in the uh, in the arena of styles, there are these assertive styles. Assertive style is the it is not either with any emotion uh, the passive style is emotional it's withdrawing not taking the risk of decision just uh, sitting by everybody else will take the decision and face the music and aggressive the style yes i put the foot down and i put my veto power the passive aggressive more aggressive than the uh, just passive and uh, less aggressive than the assertive assertive is not at all aggressive it is uh, the assertive style these four basic styles and then media we have seen whatever media is very comfortable easily available and cannot uh, be distorted we are using the uh, this audio media, we are able to hear one another, I hope, clearly, because the uh, network is uh, clear, uh, probably creating, causing some certain problems, some problems at home given by very valuable questions were being asked by every participant here. I was just uh, uh, enjoying those questions 
why I do not, why I cannot uh, open my mouth, why I feel shy, why I feel just uh, my uh, tongue tied, why I cannot uh, open up. Uh, it is, there is a book by David Harold Fink. It is, a, he was a doctor, MD doctor, uh, Freedom from Nervous Tension, David Harold Fink, F-I-N-K, Fink, Freedom from Nervous Tension. It says, to overcome your nervous tension, just breathe in, saying re silently, and breathe out, saying lax, 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 re, lax, relax a number of times, and immediately you will feel the difference. So, in that book, Freedom from Nervous Tension, that book by D.H. Fink, F-I-N-K, Fink, that he has written that. There are, uh, there are one book, Kondratov, K-O-N-D-R-A-T-O-V, Kondratov, A. Alexander Kondratov, A. Kondratov. A it is, the name of the book is Symbols and Science. It is published from Mon Moscow. It is, it was published in 1969 by Mir Publishers, Moscow. This book, Science and Symbols, Sounds and Symbols, Sounds and Symbols, they also can create havoc. As I said, 11 Jinping instead of Xi Jinping, X-I, Xi, pronunciation is Xi instead of Xi, the lady pronounced as uh, 11 Jinping. By assume, assume means make an ass of you and me. Verify what is what is what is it? Uh, can it have another meaning? Uh, consult another person. Create doubt in in the styles, in the choice of uh, uh, media. Select one or two the most. Uh, effective media, the hearing, our ears give 13% uh, intake of information, 13%. There was a blind um, advocate general of uh, uh, West Bengal, Mr. Swapan Gupta. Uh, he was one year my senior in Calcutta University in 1968. He was doing, he was in second year MA. So even a blind uh, advocate, big blind advocate, he was advocate general. So see the power of the years. So I feel uh, we have to use, there was great music director, Mr. Ravindran. He was blind. So what a wonderful music he had given. So the power of the senses, we have to use our senses. The, all senses are guided by the common sense. What is effectiveness? Effectiveness has got one more ingredient over efficiency. Efficiency means speed plus quality plus time. That is speed plus quality plus economy speed and time it is one and the same thing sorry uh, speed plus quality plus economy that is uh, uh, that is efficiency of anything and then ability and see the desired result if one fool has said something and another fool has being uh, deciphered it may be cipher uh, language secret code language it is not foolishness so there may be deeper meaning. Uh, so uh, we are uh, in the, the this uh, styles. There are wonderful styles of communication. Good. I have just given. You see, we we uh, in the uh, in the, the manual of office process. There is a chapter on uh, forms of communication. There it is said that in the demi official letter. Uh, only in the demi official letter, uh, the, the first first person I uh, is used uh, with uh, a, 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 an endearing language, personal and friendly tone. Not any not any domestic matter. It is official matter put in friendly and personal tone, one to one communication. But in the letter, the I is used in an official ceremonial tone in a, a ceremonial tone it is i a letter that is i in a letter i am directed to say that is the language of a letter but in the language of a 
demi official letter dear shri gupta you will appreciate that we had a discussion about such and such thing discussion on a date convenient to, to you please let us know when it will be convenient like that one to one uh, communication higher level can communicate in this personal and friendly tone to any lower level but lower level should not communicate to, to the higher level in such a familiar endearing language because there is a problem of hierarchy as the my previous speaker the learned uh, advocate uh, mr panindran sir was explaining that we cannot hug our uh, parents as we hug our uh, friends uh, it was a wonderful uh, the in fact the participants were putting so many wonderful questions i feels like any uh, any questions that if any question has come even now please give let me have those questions hello yes sir uh, yes ma'am uh, yes sir you can questions are not coming no sir no there are no questions till now uh, uh, am i making sense or not am i communicating or not no, no, sir. It's not like that. Maybe, maybe it's really clear to everyone. That is why there are no more questions. Okay. In fact, our our coming our style should not be scary or scaring. If the as Dr. Mrs. Daniel was explaining, I I was waiting for the time. Time is a very the important thing time and timing this may not be the appropriate timing for putting the questions because for the whole day this conceptual clarity etc they were necessary so are you are you can kindly say all the participants their personal questions i would love to have those questions and answer them anytime uh, now onwards uh, if any if if no other question is there then i can uh, repeat only a few things we should not rain information uh, nor just put in small drips but ensure that smooth flow of communication goes on smooth flow of requisite information not unnecessary information goes on efficiently and effectively efficiency is on our, our part but effectiveness is on the recipients by receivers part so the styles the feedback when whenever my wife uh, uh, puts uh, too much salt in the uh, food i uh, do in the dishes I do not tell her that there is too much salt. I just put a little bit of more water in that or lemon, etc., to just ne neutralize that effect and I go on consuming that because arguing is possible only with one who can, who is ready to accept this. When Titanic, the ship was sinking only 40 miles away there is another ship which was not receiving the signal signal was being sent but that man who was to to take the signal he was busy with his personal calculation and that happened in the case of tsunami also one uh, director of his control room, he was busy in selling his wife's audio cassettes, song cassettes, uh, instead of monitoring the tsunami thing, and that cost uh, thousands of lives, innocent lives. So you can see how time and the timing, they are crucial, and the dedication, the, co the communication needs full dedication. One night, at 10 p.m., uh, the uh, Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, was our Home Minister also. I was Home Minister's Parliament Assistant. She had gone to, to sleep, gone off to sleep at 10 p.m. Normally, she uh, used to go to sleep um, late. But that night, without clearing a start question file, and that start question file for the whole night, I was uh, tortured. I was the Home Minister's Parliament Assistant. Uh, it was my duty to get the file from the prime minister i told the joint secretary to the prime minister very senior is officer joint secretary to prime minister that uh, double my age sir prime minister has gone off to sleep and then 
the start question file uh, which is to be answered start question is to be answered tomorrow morning itself before 11 am by this night itself we have to send the answer what to do he said should i go and wake up the prime minister of india uh, she has gone to sleep uh, you are disturbing my dinner i said you are enjoying your dinner okay sir you please enjoy your dinner and then i gave an assurance on the on on uh, my own risk because assurance is not acceptable in start questions it is still on record in parliamentary records who gave that assurance during the bangladesh war days pakistani war days with bangladesh and then at that time asked to help east pakistan it is i who gave that and that assurance can be cross checked even now so for communication there was no further communication who gave that answer no follow up no feedback nothing there was most probably two punishment postings up to your senior joint secretaries to prime minister later on it came to know but i never knew whether uh, i was not given any uh, thanks anonymously we in organizations in anonymity in government also that is why that is a style that's a part of the style in newspapers they will say on condition of anonymity such and such a very senior officer or spokesman spoke to us on condition of anonymity that so you have seen that what styles we have to we, we we have to give any uh, thing to the media all the ministries and departments are ordered to go through the press information bureau not directly because i have retired i retired in 2006 uh, february 2006 long back and uh, at the end i take the risk and whatever i am saying is on record everything is on record it can be checked uh, what the uh, this communication it goes wrong at home it goes wrong in office it goes wrong everywhere every time the sender is totally oblivious of what is going to happen with me what the person will receive what do you mean to say Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 it is uh, five thirty-six. If you want me to continue for five ten minutes, for uh, more than that, I am ready. Uh, because if questions are there, that will be wonderful. Otherwise, the um, I tried to uh, give some hints about the uh, the styles and the uh, the media. The, the plural, the word medium is singular and the word media is plural. Multiple media will create a uh, barrier for the, uh, the sender and the receiver also. Which one to receive? We have seen many media have gone to the background and now where are those teleprinters? Where are those telegraph offices, telegram and telegraph, uh, telegra telegraph uh, offices and telegram messages? Where, where are they? Now everything has gone. Now this uh, email, everything, we are changing everything. But we, when we say, Aao bacho tumhe dikhaye jhaki Hindustan ki, then the children will think that we are being addressed as children. Oh no, come on. So they should say, Aao dosto tumhe dikhaye, come friends, we shall show you, not as bacho. Okay? Right, sir. Right. I uh, I tried to use as much English as possible because uh, thankfully I cross-checked uh, uh, that uh, the there will be international participants also. The questions I expected from the international participants, they were giving very very intelligent questions. They speak less and they hear more and listen more and understand more. There was a very beautiful poem. There was an old owl on a very old oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why cannot be, why we can't be like that wise old bird? So hearing is a 
is almost 75% of communication. It's the most wonderful thing. It is not written anywhere, but I have discovered it, it myself. Seeing is 90% uh, mental work. It is written on teach yourself optic. In that book, it is written, uh, is a Teach Yourself series. So those who have heard me, I have re, uh, those who have listened to me, I'm very, very thankful to them. But then the Google is there, the questions are there, my phone number, smartphone number is there. Anything which we, we can be sent on uh, this uh, WhatsApp uh, number or uh, through any other method, uh, please help them to give. I uh, gave me uh, some uh, 15, 20 minutes more. I, I try to keep the uh, keep within the time schedule because the time, uh, for three, four days, I went on preparing and the enough material is there. I thank you very much because against all the odds, you are communicating with this 77 eminent participants among whom there are doctors, professors, there's many eminent people are there and experience their gathering experience not young people also have their very big new challenges uh, uh, new challenges and further new challenges will come to them my best wishes are with everyone and thank you thank every one of you thank you very much